What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken. Today, guys, we are going to cover my top 10 Steelbook releases of 2022. And this was a very difficult list to put together. Like I'm in the middle of doing my top 10 list. I've done the top 10 4Ks. I'm doing the top 10 Steelbooks. Top 10 Blu-rays is coming as well. Uh, but of all the lists, like this was the hardest one to put together. And I think it's because it's such a subjective list. Like we're basing this on the aesthetics, the look, the appeal of the actual Steelbooks themselves. Um, and it's just all based on your personal preference of what the artwork is and stuff. So this was kind of hard to put together. I feel like last year though, there were clear cut winners. There was ones that I, I knew I wanted to be my number one. I knew I wanted to be my number two, my number three, my number four. This year was kind of all over the place. I was like, I, I really don't know what to do here, how to structure this, how to put these. Um, of course I figured it out, but I was kind of surprised what ended up being in my top spots when I when it kind of came down to it. So I'm really excited to get into this list. But before we get into it, guys, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We talk about physical media on this channel all the time, Blu-rays, 4Ks, just everything, Steelbooks, all that kind of stuff we cover here every single day. So if you like physical media, owning the movies that you love, all that stuff there behind me, then definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, be sure to hit that like button. And then comment down below, guys. There were tons of great Steelbooks that came out in 2022 from all different studios. Let me know what some of your favorites were in that comment section below and then turn on those bell notifications uh, for all future videos. So another thing to note before we get into this, I am not a big like new release steelbook guy. Again, I covered this when I talked about 4Ks. I don't get super excited for the for the steelbooks and the new 4Ks of new movies that come out. Uh, the steelbooks, for one, they're way overpriced. Like a new steelbook for like a Marvel movie. Disney movie, you know, DC movie usually comes out like 35 bucks. I'm not paying that kind of money for a steel book. I'll get the slipcover because to be honest, at the end of the day, I'm more of a slipcover guy than I am a steelbook guy, but I do love my steelbooks as well. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. I got some honorable mentions that I want to cover here real quick. There, like I said, there was pro I probably got like maybe 40 to 50 steelbooks this year. Like, and again, I'm not a big steelbook guy, but I still got that many steelbooks. It's insane. Um, but I got to talk about the Wayne's World uh, Blu-ray steelbook. This is not the 4K steelbook. They re-released this with the 4K in it at the end of the year, which is a controversy, controversial thing that Paramount's been doing. That's a whole nother subject, a whole nother topic. Um, but I really, really like this steelbook because it has all the quotes from Wayne's World, like all the iconic quotes, like even the ones that you haven't even thought about in like 15 years they put on here. So it's super awesome. Uh, I love how they have, and you know, the worst part of it all is I never learned to read. They even had that quote on there. Uh, the, all the, the mirth mobile. She makes me feel kind of funny. I say hurl if you blow chunks and she comes back, she's yours. It's just, it's just such, it's filled with so many quotes. That's like so inside baseball, like only the biggest Wayne's world fans would know these, uh, when they see them. And I'm a huge Wayne's world fan. This is my favorite comedy of all time. So I love this steel book. I thought it was a really cool idea. Uh, for Paramount to put all the quotes on here. So it's simple, but I still really like this one. So Wayne's World uh, is my honorable mention. I also got to call out Paramount for the Ring Steelbook. This wasn't good enough to make my top 10, but it really almost did because uh, I really like this, this VHS tape aesthetic on the slipcover. Now, another thing with these Paramount Steelbooks they've been releasing, uh, they've been doing the cardboard slipcovers, which I know a lot of people aren't super crazy about. Uh, but you take this out of the cardboard, and this is still a spectacular Steelbook uh, right there with the girl coming out of the well. You got seven days on there. It's all distorted like the television. You got the tree on the background. Just a great Steelbook that Paramount did uh, right here. Even on the inside, it's got interior artwork. Uh, as well. So I really like the ring steelbook, despite the fact that it's in that cardboard slipcover. Again, I know it, that kind of disappointed people, but the ring steelbook's good uh, from Paramount. Uh, Cabin in the Woods from Lionsgate. I really, really like this steelbook, but it wasn't good enough to make uh, my top 10. Red Dawn from Shout Factor Screen Factory. This was also a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Now, most of Screen Factor Shout Factory steelbooks are available on Amazon and everywhere. But for some reason, they made this one and the Child's Play uh, 4K steelbooks only available at Best Buy, which is kind of weird that they did that just for these movies. But this Red Dawn steelbook um, is absolutely beautiful. So I definitely double dipped on that. It is a beautiful steelbook. And I think this is the best steelbook 
uh, that Shop Factory did all year. Not to spoil what my actual top 10 list is, but this is the only Shop Factory title that I'll talk about here today is the Red Dawn. Not to say they didn't do other great work, but just not good enough to make it um, onto my shelf to, for me to purchase it. So I really enjoy this Red Dawn uh, 4K Steelbook. I also got to talk about these two Sony titles. I'll go ahead and bring them up both together. Uh, you got Fright Night and you got Starship Trooper. So Fright Night really almost made uh, it into my top 10. I really like this. It's simple. It's just the original poster artwork, but I love that when the studios do that with their just their original poster artwork on the Steelbook. I think it's super cool. You also got Chris Sarandon on the back as well, which is awesome. Uh, but I love the Starship Trooper Steelbook also. Um, you got the, you know, all the skulls and stuff with the helmets and the bugs and the background and the fire. You got that flame bug that's super awesome melting that guy. This is a great steel book. I love it. The other, the one thing I do have to knock, uh, you know, a Sony down for is they don't ever put any interior artwork in their steel books. So that's always kind of, kind of lame in my opinion. But yeah, Starship Troopers, this is an excellent uh, steel book for sure. Now let's get into my top 10. And speaking of Sony, let's talk about this Lawrence of Arabia steel book coming in at my number 10. I just thought the artwork on this was so beautiful. Like I already have this on 4K in the Columbia Classics set volume one, but I just had to double dip. Even though I've never seen the movie, I had to double dip because this steelbook is just so beautiful. I love it. Uh, you got the sun on the back in the background with the flames. You got the planes. You got him riding the camel. I don't, I don't know the colors. Just it all just really pops for me, and I just really love this steelbook. Very simple back on it, but. Just a great steelbook all around. I love the, uh, we'll talk a little bit about disc art here as well, but it's a four disc set. I love how they have the discs in here. I think they do a super job with that. You know, no interior artwork, but again, it's it's kind of gold, so it really just matches anyway. Um, but yeah, I really love this steelbook. I think Sony, this was probably the best Sony steelbook that came out in 2022, even though I know people love their, their Fright Nights and their Starship Troopers. I do as well, but Lawrence of Arabia made my top 10. Uh, let's get into my number nine, and let's talk about a Paramount steelbook that did not come out with a cardboard slipcover, and that is Event Horizon. So they definitely did this one in the style of the Lionsgate slipcovers, and I don't know if this was like an experiment or something, because after this, they started doing the cardboard slipcovers, and then some of their stuff doesn't have slip covers, so I don't know what Paramount's doing right now uh, with the shield book. The Cloverfield one that's getting ready to come out looks like it has, um, you know, a plastic slip cover. But again, we'll see when that one comes out. But really nice slip on this one. I love how it has the ship on the back with the eye on both sides and the hands going all around it. Just a really cool uh, slip cover by Paramount right here. I think it's definitely. Uh, one of their best that came out of this year, probably their best that they've done in quite some time, honestly, but um, no disc art on the inside, but you have some cool, cool images from the movie on the inside as well. And most of these digital codes I've already given away, so I don't even think you could redeem them. And so I'm, I may just go and end up showing them for the rest of the video. Uh, but this is a cool steelbook. You got the hands and stuff. Um, and this is one that kind of, this is the only way you could get this on 4K. Now they are getting ready to do a 4K standalone slipcover release um, in January, at the end of January, I think January the 31st. So you will be able to get Event Horizon on 4K. Uh, but they put out this steelbook in 4K and this is the only way you could get it. And this sold out like very quickly, came back in stock like a month ago, sold out again. Uh, so right now you cannot get this one unless you pay insane prices on like eBay or Amazon or whatever, whoever's selling it, resellers. Uh, but this is still a great steelbook and definitely one of my uh, favorites of 2022 for sure. That's my number nine. Let's go ahead and get into my number eight. And again, we're going to be talking about Lionsgate. It's hard for me to talk. It was hard for me to not make this uh, a top 10 Lionsgate list, but I wanted to incorporate some of the other uh, studios as well. Not that they didn't do good work. Like the steelbooks I have in here, I really love. Uh, but this is my first Lionsgate in this list. And we're going to talk about Hell or High Water. This 4K steelbook I think is absolutely incredible. I love this movie first off. So when it was, when it was first announced to come out with a 4K steelbook, I was like, Hell yes, like I love this movie. This definitely deserves it. Uh, but just a great steel book. You got, you know, the sunglasses with Chris Pine, Ben Foster. You can see him in the middle. I just love the way the fonts kind of put on there. I love the oranges and reds and all that stuff. Now on the back, you can see Jeff Bridges. And then, you know, you take it out. And I love the the artwork on the inside. It's, it's just so cool. And just remind you that old school, like Western. I love just the way that I, again, I'm not like super into art and stuff. So I don't know exactly what you'd call this style of art, but it's just kind of like a different uh, style of art than, than anything else that they've done. And again, I, I want to talk about the artists here, but I don't know everybody's name off the top of my head. 
Uh, again, I should have looked it up, but just a great steel book uh, for sure. On the inside, you've got some really cool disc art um, on these discs. Lionsgate doesn't do disc arts for every one of their 4K steel books, so I've noticed that on some of them, but they, I think they have started doing it on most of the steel books that they put out. But yeah, Hell or High Water is my number eight steel book of 2022. Now let's get into my number seven and we're going to talk about another Paramount Steelbook that came out this year and that is the Scream 2 4K Steelbook. Now when this was first announced I just absolutely fell in love with this Steelbook. Scream 2 is my favorite of the franchise. I love this movie and I love, absolutely love the theater opening scene so the fact that they put that on the cover I just thought was super cool. You can see everybody sitting in the theater with the, with the ghost face mask on. You got the big ghost face up here with the Scream 2. And then you got Hello Sydney, Remember Me with a knife on the back. I just really love this steel book. So this definitely had to make my list. And I think number seven feels like the right spot for Scream 2 for sure. Now let's go ahead and get into my number six. And that is this, uh, well, this is actually kind of a cheat because there's four steel books in this set. But I got to talk about the Lion's Gate Hunger Games steelbook set. So you have for the four Hunger Games films in here, you have the Hunger Games Catching Fire, uh, Mockingjay Part 1 and Mockingjay Part 2. Now, admittedly, I'm not the biggest uh, Hunger Games fan. Uh, I don't even think I've seen the last two movies. I think I've seen the first two and that's it. Uh, but these steelbooks are just, just beautiful. And, you know, the, the Lionsgate just always knocks it out of the park. The last Steelbook set they did, because I think this is the only one they did this year, and I'm trying to take these out. I really also just like the way that they're put in here. I like how it'll feel. Like I love my Rambo set. I really love my Rambo Steelbook set. Don't get me wrong. But it's big and bulky, and it doesn't fit on the shelf uh, very well. This fits in with the other Lionsgate Steelbooks very easily, and it's also a really nice uh, little box set as well. But... Yeah, this Hunger Games, they really did a great job with this. And again, I'm not a big fan of the movies, uh, but I had to get this one uh, for sure. Just a beautiful picture right there. You got Jennifer Lawrence, uh, simple. The the greatest action heroine of all time, by the way. She was the first ever action uh, star, a female action star. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that? In 2012, they didn't have any action female stars at all before 2012, before Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, so just incredible. Uh, so this steelbook is, is worth owning just for that reason, because she was the first ever female action star. I'm joking. That's that's what she said. Anyway, I'm just I'm just messing around. But anyway, uh, Catching Fire, this is a great steelbook. These steelbooks are just beautiful. Just beautiful. And I also love, it's a nice little touch. On the side, down there, you have the three arrows to kind of signify the order of the movie. So this is the third movie, so you have three arrows uh, right there. But I love the artwork on this one, just awesome artwork. And on the back of all these, you have like the map um, of the regions or districts or whatever they call them. Uh, again, not a big Hunger Games fan. Uh, but this last one, also beautiful as well. So just some beautiful steel books by Lionsgate. I could not... Uh, not talk about the Hunger Games set, even though I'm not a huge fan of these movies. Had to talk about that. So that's my number six. Coming in at my number five, I was kind of surprised what made it up this high on my list. Um, and that is the Limey 4K Steelbook. So at first glance, you're like, okay, this is just, you know, it's a cool Steelbook, but what makes this one uh, go above some of the other ones? This has a nice little trick, a little gimmick to it that some of the other Steelbooks do not have. And I didn't even know about it. I think somebody, I did a, I cannot remember who told me this. I did a live stream with somebody and they showed this to me and it blew my mind. I was like, what? Because I had this Steelbook for like two months by the time I learned about this trick with the Steelbook. Uh, and it completely blew my mind. But let me show you this. Uh, real quick. So you have the Limey, you have Terrence Stamp behind bars right here. That's a cool slip cover, right? Uh, you take it out right here. Some cool artwork on there uh, for sure. You flip it over, but let me show you something. You flip it over and you put it uh, the slip cover on backwards and it makes another image of a little girl right there. And I just thought that that was super cool. I did that. Look at that. You flip it uh, backwards and it makes another image on the back and then you turn it around and uh, you know, He's behind bars again. It's just such a cool, and I did not know the Steelbook did that, but when I found that out, I was like, damn, that is so cool and creative. But Lionsgate uh, definitely needs to be commended because at first glance, I was like, this is an okay Steelbook, but I think Lionsgate could do much better. And I also wasn't familiar with the movie The Lime. I need to definitely check it out now. But uh, when, I, when that gimmick was revealed to me, that little trick, I was like, damn, that is super freaking awesome. But the Limey 4K Steelbook is my number five for sure, just for that trick. 
Now coming in at my number four, we're gonna bring Arrow Video, and I don't usually love the Arrow Video Steelbooks, uh, but I really love this, the look of this one when they announced it and I had to get it. This is the Wild Things 4K Steelbook. Oh my God, look at that thing. That is so freaking beautiful. You got Nev Campbell, Denise Richards, you got you know, Matt Dillon, Kevin Bacon, but just the artwork just looks incredible. I love the font, I love the hotel on the bottom right there. And then on the back, you had the alligator and the swamp, and I just love the, the orangey colors right there, the sunset, I think it's freaking awesome. But also on the spine, you have the contrast of the orange, uh, the, the warm colors and the cool colors, I just think that's super cool as well. Open it up, love the disc art. Uh, pretty sure it's the same disc art as the regular 4K. I did double dip on this one. Uh, but you have some art cards inside as well. And I just really like this one. So this is one that I didn't think was gonna make it to my top five or even my top 10. But when I started to look at it in comparison to some of the other uh, Steelbooks, I was like, this one really is uh, top notch. The artwork is fantastic. Just a nice matte finish as well, but it's all kind of like glossy and glistening and metallic. So uh, you got some nice font work right there with the purple. So really like that Wild Things 4K Steelbook. So that definitely made it in uh, to my top five and number four. Now getting into my top three, I'll go ahead and say it. These are all Lionsgate Steelbooks and Lionsgate just does the best work. I don't know what you guys want me to say, uh, but coming at number three, I was kind of surprised by this one, but this one came out at the very beginning of the year. Might've been the first Steelbook that came out, first 4K Steelbook from Lionsgate that came out this year. I'm not exactly sure, uh, but the Punisher uh, 4K Steelbook, I just fell in love with when this came out. I'm not the biggest fan of the movie. Again, that's kind of a theme with some of these movies. But damn, this steelbook really impressed me. I love kind of the glass breaking right there. But when you take it out and you reveal that that skull artwork, that is just top notch. Like that is the skulls like on fire with explosions. Like that is just beautiful. I love that artwork. And then the, the back right there with Tom and Shane and the Punisher outfit with the explosions and fire behind him. That's just super cool. So I love this steelbook and that, that was good enough uh, to make it into my top three. At my number three is the Punisher uh, steelbook. Now there was also another Punisher steelbook that came out this year that I really did like too uh, that did not make my list. But this one is, is freaking awesome for sure. The Punisher steelbook, my number three. Now let's get into my top two. Now some people may say that my number two is their number one. But to me, what we'll go ahead and say it, the Reservoir Dogs 4K Steelbook. Again, this is this Steelbook to me is this year's American Psycho Steelbook, which again, we all know, I, all, I pretty much won an award, pretty much won an Oscar this year for helping Lionsgate win the award, the Clio Award for the American Psycho Steelbook for this very list. Uh, for this very list that I did my top 10 Steelbooks of 2021, I put American Psycho at number one. I'm not gonna do Reservoir Dogs at number one because I don't think that, again, the gimmick is pretty much the same. You have the ear coming off right there, which is super cool, revealing Reservoir Dogs. And you've got, uh, you know, the blood, the guys walking in the blood. That the, the artwork is fantastic. It really is. It's just not up there with the American Psycho to me. Uh, personally, I think the, the American Psycho is just like next level, the way they did that with the Patrick Bateman taking the face off. That was just so awesome. And again, I love this one. It was great enough to make it my number two, so obviously I love it. But again, it's this year's American Psycho, but I don't think it's good enough to me to make my number one. It's just not, it's, I don't know, it's just missing a little something for me. But I love the, Amer the Reservoir Dogs 4K Steelbook. It is good enough to make my number two. Uh, for sure. But the thing I really love about this steelbook, uh, there's the back right there. The thing I really love, love about the steelbook is the discs. Like the discs, you have different color guns. I think that's super cool. So I love the interior um, of this steelbook. But yeah, definitely, you know, a great steelbook. This year's American Psycho steelbook for sure, but not up there with the American Psycho steelbook to me. And again, I know a lot of people would say that it is their favorite of the year, and I would completely understand if you said that, but there's one steelbook that topped it uh, for me. So let's go ahead and get into it. My number one steelbook of 2022 right here, and this was one that I did not see as my number one of the year until I just really started to break it down in my mind, and I absolutely love this movie. I've loved this movie since it came out, and I was so happy to see it get this kind of treatment from Lionsgate. But the La La Land 4K Steelbook from Lionsgate, I just think is gorgeous, and I love it. And like I said, I love this movie, directed by Damien Chazelle. I missed out on the La La Land 4K Steelbook that came out back in, in 2017, I believe, the Best Buy exclusive, so I was happy to get this one uh, finally on 4K with this beautiful Steelbook. Just look at that right there. You got Mia and Sebastian, 
Sebastian and the moonlight in the background. You got the font right there. You turn it over, just just awesome. But that's not even that's not even the best part. Let me show you the best part. You take this out, and oh my god, look at that artwork. There's just so many colors that are used, and I just absolutely love this artwork right here. You flip it on the back. You got them dancing with the Hollywood and the La La Land. Um, I just I just love it. I think I love all the colors. I love dancing on it. I just I love everything about this steelbook. Uh, so again, it's not one that I was thinking of uh, going into this list was going to be my number one. I knew it was going to make the list, but when I really started to break it down, I was like, I just really love this movie and I love the artwork on this steelbook. And I know a few people that do not like this movie at all that purchased this uh, steelbook just because of this phenomenal artwork. That's how good it is. So I think that this is the best steelbook. Um, of 2022 in my opinion and the best Lionsgate steelbook of 2022. So if you're going to have a steelbook win an award this year from Lionsgate, I think it needs to be the La La Land 4K steelbook. I know a lot of people are going to be pushing for this, for this Reservoir Dogs 4K steelbook and I feel like this one was designed to be the next winner. But I'm telling you right now, La La Land is the one that beats it for me. That is my number one steelbook of 2022. So I appreciate you guys watching. Please, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. Comment down below, guys. There were tons of great steelbooks that came out this year. I only mentioned like 15 or 16 right here. So let me know what some of your favorite ones were in the comment section below. Also, be sure to turn on those bell notifications for all future videos. I got other lists coming. Top 10 Blu-rays, top 10 slipcover packagings. I got other stuff. Top 10 boutique and studio label we're going to be doing a uh, top 10 controversial releases of the year we're going to be doing just all kinds of top 10s coming your way soon so definitely turn on those bell notifications and follow me on all my social media accounts those links are down below in the description and we'll see you next time